Hello everyone, I'm back at it. So, I don't know if you're going to notice this or not, but this is actually the same day from yesterday's video. But, um, I figured yesterday's video was long enough, so this is what I'm prepping. And, because I took such a break between the two, maybe it should count as a separate day. But, uh, the berries that I bought at Costco and Walmart when I left them in the hoop house, the heat really did a number on them. They had some nice leaves and everything on them. This poor little one right here, I don't know if he's going to recover, but um, I potted, they were already potted up. I watered them well again and brought them outside. We've actually put them inside uh, twice since we brought them out. And I decided to go ahead and put some of the smaller uh, mulches that I got free from chipdrop.com into there. And then I'm going to water that in again. And then those should stop drying out. I will not, however, be putting them back into the hoop house. Maybe. So what else I want to show you is I have some... These are one gallon pots set up in a pot holder. Um, if you're interested, I get my pots from greenhousemegastore.com. Um, if you're in the Western United States, it might not be advantageous for you to use them. Uh, shipping is approximately uh, $10 for each item you order. And I don't mean each item, I mean not one pot, but a stack of 60 pots. However, I did find that when I was buying my greenhouse fabric from them, that, um, not fabric, but plastic, that even with shipping, which was quite more than $10, they were still cheaper. Now, that said, since I went back to get more pots after COVID, just to stock up a little bit, even though, yes, last year I stocked up overstock, I now have the hoop house up, so I wanna make sure I don't run out of pots their prices almost doubled. So now might not be the best time to buy the um, pots or to search and find another place um, near you. So those are set up so that I can actually pot up some pawpaw and let me show you that. So my husband uh, put the pawpaw in here that he is able to grow. And this year there's only 30. So he has them all labeled with this neat label thing that he ordered. And I don't know where he got those uh, from. However, um, these are the pawpaw and they're in these nice little pots right here. And uh, since there's only 30, we're probably not gonna offer any for shipping. Um, my plan right now is to, I advertise them, and the first day, one, two, five, we sold five, and then um, I have someone picking up one today. How can you buy just one little baby pawpaw? But he just wants one, and I also have some bare root persimmon. He wants one of those, and then I'm also um, uh, having somebody pick up four on Thursday. Now, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and pot some of these up in those one gallon pots and I offer them before I pot them up and then I offer them after I pot them up. The reason being is this way they're one price. Once they're potted up, the price goes up simply because the pots are at least a buck a piece. Well, those small ones are 60, but then of course uh, the peat right here is 10 to $15 a bale wherever you get it. And I did think of switching to coconut coir, but um, that would actually at least double what I pay for peat. So when, even though the coconut coir is more sustainable and I would love to switch to it, I can't financially make the switch without yeah. Anyway, so you get it, right? We don't all do everything that's best based on what our finances are. So, um, and then of course the Paralite. Now the Paralite I get, uh, I, I was getting it at a pool store and it was uh, $20, $22 a bag, which is still a much better price than buying the little, uh, like one cubic foot bag at Lowe's or something like that. However, if I found a feed store that had it for a lot less, like $15, which was great, but that feed store is closing in two months. So I have to make the decision on whether uh, to save f almost 50% future. Uh, do I go ahead and stock up on that? And I'm just not sure that I'm going to be able to do that. But when I do buy it, I buy 
you know, 10 bags at a time. So that's it. That's what I'm going to do is the uh, pawpaw. And let me show you some of my seedlings, okay? Oh, and I, I got to cover this um, before the seedlings. Right here, uh, this is one of the fans that my husband put in. And um, I'd have to tell you, ACF greenhouses, I think, um, we got that from, we looked up, I think it was Nolte's or something. It's a, it's a greenhouse in PA and I was set to order from them. You know, they're in Pennsylvania. That's great. They had American made items. However, they couldn't ship it. The guy said, well, once you order it, it won't even leave here for at least 10 days. We're so backed up. So then I found ACF greenhouses and the same items made in USA shipped out. She said, oh, they'll ship out Monday. Yet when I came home on Sunday, part of the order was already there so we got that fan and that fan and i do have the motors to operate the fans however our electrician neighbor um has to put us in his schedule ah uh, there's the more cardboard and then my neighbor gave us screen now um because of the nature of the hoop house i think i'm going to make some screen doors um maybe but I might make those into smaller screens and use them for drying herbs. Not sure yet, but I like to repurpose as much as I can and save it from the landfill. And I don't have windows that big. His house is huge. Right here, my husband found a bag of something growing. We didn't know what it was. Um, it, was a, it was literally all these little things were in a bag. I think they're bearded irises we shall see. So I potted those up. That's a rosemary I've been able to keep alive for two years. It didn't sell last year, so I'm actually going to pot it up into a bigger pot. Um, it also has suffered some heat damage from the greenhouse, which we now leave open. And we can't open the, the vents yet simply because the um, motors aren't attached. And we have, well, uh, that and we have not... Um, we have not cut the plastic on the outside, so even if the vent was open, it wouldn't serve any purpose, but the doors are open. So right here is the fan that I got from ACF Greenhouses, and uh, I have to tell you someday how I justified that expense. Well, I'll tell you now. <laughs> we have a rule in our household. When my husband buys a gun, he has to buy me a gun. He's not allowed to come home with a gun, unless he buys me one. So he said, um, hey, what kind of gun you want? I said, what did you buy? <laughs> One time I said, you know what, I'll just take the cash option. And he said, okay. And then another time um, I said, you know what, Liz wants a gun. Just take her out. So he took our daughter and he bought her a gun. And that was really nice. It was like, yeah, that was really <laughs> cool. It's like, I mean, shouldn't every dad buy his daughter her first weapon? But she's, um... anyway, so this time I said, you know what? I had been putting off this purchase because it was such a huge purchase. And then I thought, you know what? He's he's taken that much money and like, so yeah, I, I justified it that way. I said, uh, I'm taking the cash option, but I'm spending it now. So that's what I did. I got my fan set up from ACF Greenhouses. And then here um, are my seeds, my dill was doing better. I think I might have overwatered it. Um, and then the fenu Greek is an herb and it's doing okay. But what gets me is, well, I leveled them up now, um, the pans. They weren't so level, so the upside wasn't getting enough water. So when I flipped them around and leveled them, now hopefully they are. My marjoram is just starting to peek through and the basil has a couple, but I took the tops off, the um, the humidity domes off, because uh, I didn't want to create more heat in there. And look, these actually melted, not from the heat in the greenhouse, but from the heat in the barn, because I had them stacked in the barn, and it got so hot in the barn, they melted. And I think I'm going to invest in some higher humidity domes, which, uh, yeah, that's another considerable investment. My sugar snap peas are coming up, but look, now this one is just, it came up and it's drying. If you know what's causing that, let me know. Um, it could have just been the excessive heat. However, now the greenhouse was open overnight. We're not closing it again unless the heat, unless it's, it's freezing. Here's my Brussels sprouts going like mad. These are the things that I planted for my husband that he 
started between uh, paper towels on a paper plate in the dark and they were doing well but he didn't plant them in time so they were quite leggy and you can see right there if you can even make it out because it just keeled over so we're just gonna let it go and see how it works out right here is my calendula which I often call calendula <laughs> which is wrong but uh, right here um, I have those are his cucumbers he started the same way here's my echinacea that I st I'm trying to start from seed that you can see is quite dried out and I watered these last night and I think this is dried out simply because the first of all this is not level and secondly because um, this I used the seed blocker but I used the uh, one inch one seed block maker and um, they're just too small so this is something I don't know what it is it's not coming up yet these are garlic chives that I can see some peeking up and these are also the one inch seed block makers but they started uh, falling apart in there so I'm not real sure how I'm gonna like that it's my first year actually using them these are my avocado experiments. Now, I have started quite a few avocado trees. I don't know if you remember a while back, um, my husband forgot to water them, and they died. And um, they were where he was going, and I wasn't. Roma tomatoes. And here is the same thing coming through again. There's got some algae on there, so that is actually uh, getting probably too much water. But on this end, you can see this is the upper end because it's not level. The seeds aren't even coming out, and that is because, obviously, it's not level, so the water all runs to that side. So that needs switched around, leveled, and I do have a little 2 by 4 blocks to um, fix level the whole table instead of tray by tray. I just don't have a lot of time. Right here is lettuce right uh, on that tray, and then over here, I think that's marigold, and then this is still covered. Same thing, dry on one side, wet on the other. Um, I'm keeping these covered because of the humidity. Here we go, kale's coming up. So as soon as it comes up, I uncover it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And over here, whatever that is, a uh, foxglove from my mother-in-law. There's actually only one coming up. So this all needs something done with it today, but my priority is going to be um, repotting the pawpaw trees. And maybe, uh, yeah, trying to do something with the mess in here. The cardboard is going to make this look terrible for quite some time until, um, and it's not a priority. It, I would like it to be, but we've got so much other things to do. We're going to get a load of um, pea gravel, and I'm going to put the pea gravel over top of the cardboard. And uh, so that'll make it look a lot better. And uh, that's about it. Did I show you my... Um, Snow White Blackberries. I think that's what they're called. For, called. I, I got three of those off of Etsy from Etsy and they were um, $10 a plant, but I think they were buy one, get one half off or something like that. We ended up getting four. We kept, we wanted two for ourselves. I was going to give one to my nephew. I asked, asked him if he wanted one. He just, he never messaged me back. And then we gave one to our beloved neighbor will probably have his twice as big as mine in a day or so. And right there are my hyacinths that I've got to water. That's it. That's what I'm prepping today. Let me know <laughs> what are you prepping today. And aren't you glad now that this long video got separated from yesterday's video? Otherwise, it would have been a half an hour. All right, everyone. Let me know what you're prepping today. And... Uh, be blessed.